وأن المساجد لله فلا تدعو مع الله أحدا. الله هن أبدر دور. The masjids and jamis, mosques are the houses of Allah. Allah عز وجل في أمر فيهم. Allah's will applies there. واستصينا بذه بيبدر مشتر. Through our holy prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, Allah عز وجل. Informed us that mosques do not harm. No harm comes from mosques, from Allah's houses. Benefit comes from the houses of Allah. If there's a distressed, then you get rid of that by not closing the mosques, but by opening them, keeping them open. That's how the stress goes away. People somehow cannot understand this, and they do the opposite. Whenever there's distress, the first thing they do is to bother the houses of Allah. Shut it down. Let it not spread. What is there? Is there viruses there? The purest, cleanest people go there after cleaning themselves. They go to the presence of Allah not to do evil but to do good. That's why they enter those places. To supplicate and beg Allah. The prayer that is prayed in a mosque in congregation is 27 times superior to one done alone. So it's not 100% better, but 2,700 times better. This is not an easy matter. However, no faith, Iman, is left. There is Islam, but there is no Iman left. Everybody is a Muslim in words, but when it comes to truth, no, they cannot pass the test, but they fail. From the oldest to the youngest, we all fail. They become a professor and whatnot, but when it comes to faith, they read, but when it comes to application, to applying, they cannot do anything. They fail. This problem, calamity, exists all over the world. And we, need, we can get rid of it by begging Allah, repenting to Allah, and asking Allah for forgiveness. This is how it's going to be gone away. It's not going to go away by just... Allah Azawajal is showing humanity its weakness. They say, well, I do this and things don't go the right way and I do that, it doesn't work. You can only get rid of these distresses and calamities by asking Allah, begging Allah. Otherwise, it will continue. They talk about applications and whatnot. And shaitan is finding excuses so the mosques would be shut. Who benefits from mosques getting shut? Shaitan benefits. And nobody else it has no other benefit. Is there, if there is anybody who says we shut the mosques and we benefit it, let them come out and Say this Allah against Allah, Allah and let him see how Allah is going to treat him. Allah. May Allah protect Bu, us. 
yürüyor bu dünya. Bazı zatların This world dua, turns dualarıyla through yürüyor. these duas o zatları through the duas of certain ne yağmur ones. Ones. Ne diyor. If it yani weren't for turzakum, the dua turzakum. of certain ones o mübariklerin gözü suyu hürmetine neither rain would come down nor we would get sustenance. Yağmur ya Bihim turzakum Bihim tumtarun says our holy prophet for the honor of those holy ones do you get your sustenance rizq and rain comes down and through their baraka blessing these distresses will go away therefore some people take these things that are being done as light not important well they shut the mosque well let it be shut we can pray at home anyway, they say. Yes, you can pray at home, but the meaning behind it is big. May Allah protect us. You are disobeying Allah. You are rebelling against Allah, opposing Him. There is evil in your home. There is disease in your home. There is viruses. There are viruses there. Her iyilik Allah'tandır yani bu kadar The cure is from Allah. Edepsizlik Every goodness is from olamaz. Allah. So there's Allah no need for such bad manners. It can't be. Estağfurullah. May Allah bu, protect us. Bilmeden yapıyor bu insanlar. We repent Allah and ask for forgiveness. Versin. Estağfurullah. Allah These people are doing it without knowing. Allah May Allah give them intellect and common sense. May Allah give all of us Iman, faith, inshallah.